My name is Lindsay Cernu, and this is On Air with Heritage Action, a podcast built for conservatives. Twice a week, we break down in five-ish minutes or less how you can get involved today in the fight for conservative values. The mainstream media won't tell you this, but right now, House and Senate leaders are currently negotiating a backroom spending deal to fund the federal government. But here's the kicker. They also want to increase funding for the vaccine mandate enforcement. We've been keeping a very close eye on this process for you, and what we know from past experience worries us. These backroom spending deals are bad for conservatives, and they are bad for Americans. An omnibus funding package will basically be a fast track for the left's agenda. They'll be able to put whatever they want in these bills. And we've been told that they want to increase funding for Biden's federal vaccine mandate, which would fire frontline healthcare workers and military service members who do not comply. I mean, when you look at what's going on in the world right now, it's outrageous and just dangerous that the party in power wants to double down on these efforts to purge the unvaccinated from our military. We should be training Navy SEALs, not using taxpayer dollars to track them down and fire them. This all comes at a time when America is really at its most vulnerable under the leadership of President Joe Biden. You may not have heard this in his State of the Union last night, but you've experienced it firsthand. You've experienced the inflation crisis and the effects of a porous southern border, weakness on the international stage and energy dependence, these rising gas prices. An omnibus bill that Democrat leaders like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi support would make these problems worse. And not to mention, this bill would also keep a vaccine mandate in place for frontline healthcare workers, government contractors, and the military. The last thing America needs right now is this bloated bill that fails to remove the vaccine mandates. And that's why we are drawing a red line. Heritage Action's own Jessica Anderson and other conservative leaders sent a letter to Republican leaders Mitch McConnell and Kevin McCarthy with our red lines for this process. We are providing a voice for Americans here, and we're asking that Republican leaders do the same, that they stand for the American people and automatically reject a spending deal until President Biden does these two things. One, he must put an end to the COVID national emergency, which was declared March 13th, 2020, and reduce the ability of the executive branch to control our lives. It's simple. Two, he also must rescind every single COVID vaccine mandate, including those that apply to our nation's military servicemen and will- women, frontline workers in healthcare, and those government contractors. If these two things don't happen, then any new omnibus spending package is just another swampy backroom negotiation that puts Americans last. If Biden won't remove those vaccine mandates, then conservatives are better off with the current government funding levels, and members of Congress should advocate for a clean continuing resolution, or a CR, as they're called, which these are really the best case scenario here. This CR carries over those same policies and spending levels from the Trump administration, so that's good for us. Look, there's no good reason to give in to the radical left and make things worse with one of these backdoor, bloated, omnibus spending packages that are really just chock full of liberal priorities. So here it comes. Here's how you can take action. Call your member of Congress today. As always, go to heritageaction.com action to find the number for your representative. We need you to call your representatives in the House and tell them don't even think about supporting an omnibus spending package unless President Biden, one, repeals the vaccine mandates and two, puts an end to the COVID national emergency. It is just absolutely wrong that President Biden is still trying to fire doctors, nurses, Navy SEALs and other military personnel with those vaccine mandates. With everything going on in the world right now, it's not just wrong, it's, it's dangerous. So Heritage Action has put together a suggested call script for you that you can use when calling your representative. You can find it again at that link I just mentioned, heritageaction.com slash action. Please just take two minutes to call. It's so important. We can get Washington's attention, but we need your help. That's it for another episode of On Air with Heritage Action. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you heard in today's episode, please click the follow button. If you want to receive a text message each time a new episode airs, text PODCAST to 51776 and you'll never miss an episode. That's PODCAST to 51776. Hi, it's me again, and we need your help. If you like the insights and activist resources that we're providing, please take just one minute and help us spread the word. 
So follow, like, subscribe, and share this episode of On Air with Heritage Action with your friends and family on social media or even over email or text. We need your help to get others involved in the fight to hold Washington accountable. And don't forget, you are also able to subscribe to the show on your favorite podcasting app on your smartphone. So in-app, you're going to search for On Air with Heritage Action and subscribe so you can download episodes and listen on the go. It's the best way to make sure you never miss a thing. Thanks.